Peter, not your average guy. I'm on Cyprus. And the funny thing about Cyprus is, if you want to call it funny anyways, that the Turks invaded this in 1975 or something. And all through Cyprus there is like a demarcation line and there are UN soldiers on uh, watch posts looking out for trouble. Well, since 1975 there hasn't been any trouble. So they're just sitting and waiting all day doing nothing. And over here I'm at the edge. This is in the middle of a city. You see? So there is um, like a roadblock here and you're not allowed to film these guys. Well, over here it does not say you cannot film. But just a while ago I was at another location and uh, it, it said you cannot uh, film or photograph over there. Do you see this? This building? This is a military compound, a military barrack or something. And as you can see, here is one of these red signs that says you cannot go there and you cannot film or photograph it. Right? And you can just <laughs> entirely find this on Google. But I, I do want to show you because this is like important. There is a city out there which is completely abandoned. It's empty. It's, it's houses, apartment buildings, just an entire city. All these people fled from the area when the Turks moved in and they locked the city. Like maybe they ever want to come back, but they never came back. So it's, an, it's a ghost city, a ghost town because of the Turks that invaded. So I, I, I just want to show you as far as I can how this is because it's just really weird. I told you, not your average guy on the Never Mind Your Own YouTube channel. It looks like a border post where cars could go through. See that? And it's closed now. I got the camera with me. Maybe I can make a shot like this. You see? It's all empty. And this house is just on the edge. So here is Farosha on uh, Google Earth. And when this city, you can see this is like the most forward position towards the Turkey site and this is this um, border patrol area and here you can see that there is like a, a, an outlook and I saw that when I was walking there that you could go in and there is a terrace on top and they have a 360 degree photo here so let's let's go in there and they have like a binoculars telescope where you can look at this city but what's interesting is this 
and this is what somebody painted on his roof if your house was within walking distance but armed troops restricted your access would you accept it so this is how people on the greek side think about this whole matter it's on a walking distance you can walk from here to there and your house is there but this self-declared turkish state police military officers won't let you go to your own property what would you think about that do you see this building i think These apartment buildings are also abandoned. I think that's the ghost town. It's entirely empty. Maybe this one. And there's more here. You see no windows? The question is, how do you get there? I think it's possible to drive along this city, but then first I would need to go to the Turkey site. And I rented a car, but they told me if I go to the Turkey site, I don't have an insurance. They didn't say I could not go to the Turkish site, they just said I don't have insurance. I guess I have to buy a separate one or something, I don't know. The next day. I'm just driving by the road, I'm going to the Turkish site. And I looked on the map, but this is really strange because it seems that this is English. An English part, where I'm right now. It's a very small part of the of the island. But along this road, I, I see this church. I'll show you. And it seems like this is abandoned. I, I, I think there is no roof on it. Do you see that? So I think all these houses are also abandoned. There's an, another entirely abandoned village. That's not where I'm going now. I'm going to this other uh, abandoned village with all the apartment buildings. But this might be interesting too, if, if you can get there. Probably not, but... A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm in Turkey now, in the Turkish part. I had to buy a separate uh, insurance for my car. And now I'm driving on a street right next to this abandoned city and you can see the houses here these are the houses and there are all signs like like this and and this forbidden zone you cannot go in there and then a guy a soldier with a gun this is all this abandoned area can go left here look at the church
And here it says uh, to take photos and movies is forbidden. Well, it's okay for the Turkish to invade the island and just take a big part of it. But you cannot take photos and the videos. Here is a 360 degrees photo as well. It's it's similar. It's an also an outlook post for for the public. And you can see uh, the border over here and the sea. And then what can you see? Here is a military outpost. You see? And I think there's even a soldier here. And this is another one. And these are UN soldiers. So I cannot, I cannot film it. I did not film it. You can see over here. It's forbidden to take photographs. This sign over here. But you can just find it in Google. So why, why am I not allowed to expose what the Turkeys did in 1974? Bring me to jail for that. One hour later. From here you have an excellent view on the extent of this village. There's a couple of huge apartment buildings. You cannot go there. In front of it is a beach where in the summer probably many people will be. And then all the way over there, there is this uh, city. And there are about here, there's a cabin and there is a um, either a policeman or a soldier is somewhere behind the bars. And this is all abandoned. It would be very nice to fly either out there or in front of it, but it's going to be extremely difficult. To find a location from where I can launch the drone without being seen. Like this is a good spot but I can't be seen here so it's not gonna work. Well, I think I'm gonna launch the drone from from the beach. 